2009 event was a temporary emergency measure to protect the influent pump station. It took three days to build the berm during that event. FEMA would not approve additional improvements or reinforcement to that berm under the hazard mitigation program. Instead, they wanted to pay us to take it down. Since that time, the berm has significantly deteriorated due to erosion. And during the construction of 2009, the potential for failure of the berm increased as the height of it grew. grew. This, that alone raised issues about the potential safety concerns of all staff during that event, which could have, if the collapse of the uh, And there was a point on the second day before we finished the berm where we actually had <coughs> uh, excavator halfway up on the, on the mound moving dirt to reinforce that berm. It sunk eight feet within a few seconds. That was a wake up call. We all began, became concerned about the safety of people working there because if that burn let go, we could have seen drowning, electrocution, as well as catastrophic failure of the pump station. Current future efforts regarding relocation of the plant. FEMA claim was denied on August 1st, 2012. August 9th, 2012, Mayor House approved contract for Parsons. The amount of $1,481,448 over 100% design. Design is approximately now is approximately 70% complete. With a bid date to commence work on uh, expected on July of this year. The city has also secured a GFA loan commitment in January and the amount of $32 million to fund that full scope of work. We received monthly progress reports from Parsons regarding the progress of the design to ensure the project stays on schedule for bidding and construction. And we also plan to issue a design build RFP for the relocation of the plant within the next few months. One last thing, I want to go over some of the regional flood controls efforts the city has gone through since 2009. 